welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Now, in this one, I'll be showing you guys how to make the Redstone one tick pulse, as I promised in the last video. Which, if you didn't see it, it was my invention of the irreversible switch. Now, after that was uploaded, I did check, and nobody had done it. So, I am proud to say that I'm the first person to have invented it. So, now that you know about that, uh... I'm going to be telling you guys why it's Wednesday instead of Tuesday. Now, I recorded the Irreversible Switch video on Sunday, which I originally uh, was hoping to get up that day, but uh, I did not get that up till uh, Monday, so I said that every other day schedule, and if that's up on Monday, I couldn't really post it on Tuesday, which I did promise in that video. So that's why it's Wednesday, and we're just going to keep this schedule. Uh, I'm happy that it turned out that way, uh, because I love putting up videos on Fridays. At least I, I think I do. I think I've, I don't know if I've ever put up a video on a Friday. But, uh, it's just a free day, basically, and that's, that's what's going on, so let's get into this Redstone, uh, tutorial. So, basically, for this one, as you can see here, it just sends a constant signal back and forth. Now, the way this works is the redstone torch sends a pulse, or sends a signal to this redstone, which is connected to a redstone repeater. Now, this repeater continues the signal, which goes into this block, and if you guys didn't know, redstone can go through one block. But, if a redstone torch is on the back of a block and redstone's powering it, it inverts the signal. So that's what's happening, it's inverting the signal, and then right when it turns back on, it's powering the redstone, and that just keeps happening. I'll show you what this does, I will hook up a piston to it, and as you can see here, it, uh, it just keeps going back and forth because of the, uh, signal. Or the, uh, re the repeater part thing. <laughs> uh, so... You can also set this for different time periods. So like if you want to uh, have something firing really slow or anything like that with your idea, you can have it slow, you can have it even slower. But there is one thing that you cannot do. You cannot have it for one tick without, uh, you, you have to have it like this. You cannot have it just like that. Now this way, the that's the fastest way you can go, but it will burn out the torch. If you guys don't know what burning out a redstone torch is, I will show you right now. Now you guys probably heard that sizzle right there. What that sizzle means is the torch burns out. Now, after a few seconds it will pop back on and uh, it will, it's about a 10 second delay and it will pop back on, but it will only pop back on for maybe 2 seconds. So uh, let's just wait and see if it will come back on. Oh yeah, uh, while we're waiting, let's just see if uh, if you guys have any requests for me to do, uh, please post them in the comments, I love them. If you want me to do another mod, definitely recommend me a mod, I'll do a review on that. But uh, it doesn't look like this is popping back on, uh, sometimes it pops, pops back on, and it's a fluke, but uh, I guess it's not going to be doing that right now. So the way to fix this is you just have to set this back to one tick and then place another redstone torch and as you can see it just pops back on and it will stay there forever. Now you can have this hooked up to a let's say dispenser shooting arrows like I have right here and uh, just hooks up right here and bam it shoots arrows. So now that you know what it does, let me just find it here, there it is, uh, I'm going to show you how to make it. For if you didn't, if you didn't already see how to make it, it's really simple. All you're going to need is to, all you're going to need to do is just place one block of your choice, and then place a redstone torch on the front of that. Now, just come back here behind it and place two redstone dust, uh, one in front of the other. If you go like this, as you can see, it's not going into the block, so it won't invert the signal. It has to be going this way. Let me just get that out of the way real quick. Uh, so, as you can see, it's doing that. Now, what you want to do is you want to just place a redstone right here. One to the left. 
and then, or if you're back here, you can, it's one to the right, but either way, it should be coming straight down this way. So now what you want to do is you want to place a repeater facing that way. So facing out in the distance, not towards, uh, not going the way the redstone is. This is because if it goes like this, it'll just, it will stop right here because it, the signal is supposed to be coming through the torch. But if it's going through the torch and it stops right here, there will be no pulse. It has to go this way, which would send the signal through here, and then, you know. So then you want to place a redstone here, and then one last here so it connects the torch. And you also want to set that repeater for one tick. I almost forgot, or else it would have burned out. Now, um, there's my dogs again. And uh, it seems like they're always in the video. I don't know. I just can't shut up. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, uh, so as you can see that. Now, this repeater is here mainly because if it wasn't, this would connect up and nothing would happen as you can see right there. Now, you're probably thinking, but what if I just went like this and spread it out? Well, we'll do that, but it's, again, the burnout switch. So you have to have a repeater right here and then the redstone just leading into it now it does work if you go one out if you'd like to it, it'll work anyway like that as long as you just have the repeater there all right so now that you know how to make it i will go over the uses for it uh basically again like i said oh, i didn't say for one tick uh like i said you could hook it up to a piston such as over there now you can have many uses for this. It can be hooked up to um, multiple things. Uh, now, it, what I was saying is for the arrow trap, you can have it uh, you get a dispenser, and then you just need to get some arrows, which are in the combat section. I'll just get six. Oh my gosh. 64 right there. And then basically, if I destroy this part right here, and then. Just place that and then place a stack of arrows in. The pulse basically works like this. So as you can see it can go up to multiple things and every time it pulses it shoots an arrow. Now I'm going to destroy that because I'll get full on arrows and that'll just get pretty annoying. So I'll destroy this piston as well. So congratulations you have successfully made the, uh, the uh, redstone one tick pulse. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Uh, it helps me out a lot. It doesn't take that long to do. And, you know, I've been trying to go for that partnership for a while now. So, if you do that, we can show them that I can make it. And, uh, I can be proud of myself. And you guys can expect way better content. Because I'll have a lot more opportunities to, uh, have more exciting content. Um, so... Also, if you want to see more content, definitely go subscribe to me. I post every other day starting now. I did post daily, but I just got behind on that, and that's unfair to you guys, so I'm posting every other day, because that is very manageable. Alright, so, yeah. As always, guys, this has been Silent X Demons from Demon Nation TV. And before I end this video off, I will have a part 2 to the Irreversible Switch. It's right over here, and I've thought of a more clever and more condensed way to do it. Alright, so, uh, as always guys, like I said before, it's been Sonic Demons from Demon Nation TV, and I will see you guys in the next video on either tomorrow, if I have a Thanksgiving special, or probably Friday. Alright, see you guys.